Hi, welcome to our poster. My name is Stefanos. I would like to share with you our detection of emission of neutral iron on the day side of Wall Street 3B. So the motivation of this work is that the titan oxide was suggested to be a responsible uh, species for creating stratospheres or thermal inversion in the atmosphere of hot Jupiter. But the problem is that uh, titan oxide has only been detected in two hot Jupiter, WAPS-19 and WAPS-33b. So that got us thinking whether the titan oxide can really be the main cause for the thermal inversion in hot Jupiter. So Lothringer et al. 2018 suggests that neutral iron in a gas phase can also be the responsible uh, agent to create the thermal inversions by absorbing the short wave radiations from the star and heat up the atmospheres. Therefore, we search for the neutral iron signature on the data of WAPS 33B using our old datasets. This dataset is the same dataset that we used to detect titanium oxide in 2017. The data cover the planetary orbital phase of 0.2 until 0.538. We obtained the data using Subaru telescope and high dispersion spectrograph. To see the detail on the data reduction, you can read our old paper, Nugro et al. 2017. Shortly, we removed the telluric and sterile lines using the SRAM, and then we cross colored the residuals with the double shifted neutral ion template for various abundance of neutral iron. And then we stack the cross collision function into a two dimensional array with the x axis as the RV and the y axis as the orbital phase of time. As you can see here, because WASP33b is a delta scuti star, so there's a position. The position can be seen right here. This can lead us to a false positive detection, so we want to avoid that. We can also see a dark stripes here as the, our candidate for planetary signals. But to be sure, we sum up the cross collision function at the planetary rest frame Assuming various value of orbital velocity, or Kp, and systemic velocity, and for various log VMR, or the abundance of uh, neutral iron. After that, we did the likelihood analysis. And this is the result. We detected neutral iron emission at the expected planetary velocity. We also found that the data is actually 1.3 stronger than our template. And then we were also able to constrain the, the abundance of neutral iron. But this is only correct for the uh, atmospheric modeling that we use. So, is it really true that the stratospheres in WAPS 33B, at least, is, is caused by the titanium oxide or neutral iron. So that's still a question that we want to answer in our future project. So if you want to uh, read the details of our work, you can uh, visit our poster or even download our paper and read it. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.